Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. This is Taylor once again. Today, I will talk about a weird topic. You know, there are so many weird things in life. But, you know what is the weirdest? When you hear someone saying, I don't believe in God. Why don't you believe in God? I've never seen God. I've never touched them. Have you ever seen your soul? My soul? No. Have you ever touched your soul? No. According to your logic, you don't have a soul because you have never touched your soul and you have never seen it. That's wrong when you said that God doesn't exist because you have never seen him. We have never seen God, but we know he exists by his signs. Look at the stars, the moon, the sun. Who created and designed this great universe? Anyway, I don't believe in God. So who created the moon, the sun, universe, everything? Who? The Big Bang evolution. It was all caused naturally. It just was accident. You really believe that everything was created by accident naturally? Yeah. So, let me tell you what happened to me. And believe me, this happened. One time, I wanted to go to my friend's wedding, and the place of the wedding was so far from my house. And I was so late, I didn't have a car, and there was no taxi because it was so late. So I was desperate, and I set out on my own. Suddenly, I saw some pieces of steel moving and coming together by themselves. And I saw the engine moving toward these pieces of steel, and they became a car. Then I dropped. This is such a bad story. Sorry, I don't believe you. Why? You kidding me? It's not true. Why not? It was an accident naturally. No, it's impossible. How could pieces of steel make themselves as a car alone? There has to be someone or something to put the car together. So how could the Earth rotate around the sun by accident? Who created and designed this great universe? Who created us? Was it an accident? The car came together without any maker, according to your logic. This is true. So weird that you believe that there has to be a maker who made the car and you don't believe it was made by itself. But you don't believe that there's creator who created this great universe and you believe it was made by accident. You don't think that's absurd? Is that logic? Please ask yourself and think about it. What's the hardest? The creation of the earth and universe or the creation of the car? Maybe in the future you will have the ability to make a car. But no one will ever have the ability to create, I will not say earth or moon, I will say a fly. If all of us in the world would come together to help one another to create a fly, we would never create it. You know why? Because we are only human. <laughs> And you say the great universe created by accident. Please, my friend, think about it. How could the earth rotate around the sun by accident? And how can your heart beat by itself and flow blood through your body? It was just an accident? Okay, if there had to be creator for everything, then who created the God who created everything? Who created this ball? Me. Who created me? God. This stops here. If you will ask who created, who created, who created, this will not end. So, there has to be one creator who created everything. God is the creator who was created everything. Everything is created, but God and created. Who created this ball? Me. Who created me? God. Who created God? This is a wrong question. Why wrong question? Because it's based on measuring the representation of judging on things misplaced. And because it's confusing the attributes of the creator with the attributes of creation. Example. I created this ball. Here, I'm the creator, and this ball is creation. I drink, eat, think, feel, and see. These are my attributes. Can you say that the ball has the same attributes? Does the ball feel or think? No, because its attribute is inanimate, and it can't comprehend anything. Can the ball ask me, hey, what's going on here? No, because its ability is limited. It's beyond its ability to talk. It's wrong when you ask who created God because you judge and measure that according to your limited understanding. It's beyond your ability and understand. You are creation of God and your understanding of things beyond this world are limited and the human mind can't grasp everything. Everything has its own attributes. When you ask who created God, it's like me saying this ball will marry this ball and this ball will have a child. Cause here I have confused my attributes of the attributes of ball. You understand why this question is wrong? Anyway, we know that the atheists like the scientific fact. Look at this fact. <laughs> Sahab. 
Sorry, did the mountains move like the clouds? See, you live in the 20th century even though you don't know about this fact. And this fact existed 1400 years ago. Can you prove to me this fact is true? Sure. You heard about the Earth's rotation around itself? You live in the 20th century and you know that the Earth rotates. We know that the mountains are stable in the Earth. If the Earth rotates, will the mountains be solid? No, the mountains will follow the movement of the Earth's rotation. Why did Allah say the mountains will move like the clouds? Because the movement of the clouds is not its movement. Also the movement of the mountains is not its movement. All of them follow something. The clouds follow the wind's movement and the mountains follow the Earth's rotation. This verse confirmed the Earth's rotation 1400 years ago and described it as you see the Earth's rotation. My friend, read the Quran. Okay, when we die, our body will decompose and disappear. So, how come we will be alive once again according to what you believe? Where are you 200 years ago? I was not existed. I was nothing. Who created us from nothing and gave us life for the first time, he can give us life after death. Yeah, he is able to do all things. Allah is the greatest. You want to know the concept of God in Islam? See this. He begets not, nor was he begotten. That's what we say in God. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and I bear witness that Jesus is the slave of Allah and his messenger. Thanks for spending your time to watch this video, and I do apologize if I said anything wrong. Until next time, peace be unto you. Salam alaykum.